Hey guys, the name is Chris Barachi. Welcome to Gear Corner. Today, we're checking out my favorite Wampler Overdrive's deluxe version. I'm super hyped about this because I played it already. This is gonna be the Pantheon Deluxe Dual Overdrive. If you enjoy my videos, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, check out the description box for additional infos, timestamps, gear links, etc. And check out my brand new merchandise. The first samples just arrived. I tested them and made a few pictures for you, which are weird, but at least you can see how they look. I think they turned out really good. I'm, I'm really happy with them. And in case you're wondering which size will fit you best, these are size L shirts and hoodies on the pictures. If you watched any of my videos, you probably know what kind of drive sounds I'm into. I love this Marshall Bluesbreaker pedal style tone, and I even own a couple of pedals that are in that ballpark, including the King of Tone. Even though these pedals are somehow based on the Marshall Bluesbreaker pedal, they all have their own, well, tonal character. And today I want to find out how the Pantheon Deluxe fits in this picture. All right, the specs. First, let me explain what we have here. This is a dual-sided overdrive. Channel two gives you the original Pantheon tone, which is, uh, which is a modern tweaked version of the Bluesbreaker pedal. And channel one is, well, pretty much the OG. It's the original Bluesbreaker side. <laughs> Both channels have four knobs, volume gain, bass treble, volume gain, bass treble. They also have two switches on the sides, one of which is the voicing, which will give you soft clipping, soft and hard, or only hard clipping. And the other one is the gain level, which gives you three options, low gain, medium gain, and pretty much high gain.
The two sides share the presence knob, which is super powerful and you should be careful with it. Um, I recommend having it at around zero when you start tweaking the pedal and then you can dial in some of it in case your guitar or amp just could need a little more clarity. This shared presence feature and the way it works reminds me of the King of Tone where the presence knob is inside the pedal and it gets shipped with the presence at zero. If you want to stack the two sides, like turn both of them on at the same time, you can decide on the order. This little switch gives you the option of having channel one going into channel two or the other way around, which gives you endless tonal tweaking possibilities. That's awesome. <laughs> It also has four jacks, which gives you independent in and outputs per side, which is awesome if you want to use the pedal with a pedal switcher. This way you can put both channels basically in different loops and turn them on and off on that switcher without having to fiddle around with your foot in row three where the Pantheon Deluxe somewhere is on your board. That's very nice and that's exactly how I use my King of Tone on my board with my pedal switcher as well. Brian Wampler just couldn't stop there. If that's not enough, he also put MIDI in and MIDI out on the pedal. So if you're using some sort of a, a MIDI switching system, you can also control the pedal with that. Now it's time for the comparison. I'm really looking forward to this. Both pedals can do soft and hard clipping. So I will do, well, more rounds. I guess that makes most sense. I have the red side of the King of Tones set for hard clipping and the yellow side for soft clipping. So I'll just set up a tone per side and try to match it with the Pantheon Deluxe. I'm not sure which side, which channel I will use. It depends on which sounds best. So um, we'll see about that. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, my thoughts on the pedal. I think it's clear that I'm a, a big fan of the original pedal already. The normal, the single Pantheon is a pedal I use on the Tomans Guitars and Basses channel in pretty much every video since the pedal came out. It's just one of my favorite overdrive pedals. It sounds great with whichever amp I plug it into. It works together with other pedals if you want to stack it with them. Um, it works with every guitar, single coils, humbuckers, whatever you do, it just works. And, uh, and it gives me that kind of tone I'm really into. So the Pantheon single pedal is already one of my favorites. Now having the original Bluesbreaker tone, which is a bit more narrow, mid-rangey, softer, spongier, which is channel one, that's the new tone this one is the original uh, Pantheon tone. This is new for this range and for Wanther. And to be honest, I'm super hyped about it because the only thing I was kind of missing on the Pantheon was that more vintagey kind of nasty tone. It just sounded too nice sometimes. And now you have both options. So this, this deluxe version just makes all the sense to me and I, I know I will want to use this more than the single which is again a good sign because otherwise you would say like yeah why get the double the deluxe if the single just sounds as good it really does but it doesn't give you the extras what the deluxe gives you so two great options I would say now shortly about the comparison with the King of Tone I think it got really really close like as close as it really matters at all but uh, I don't want it to be a, a King of Tone clone and it really isn't it just uh, gives you that kind of tone if you want it but also because of having two slightly different sounding sides with all the voicings gain structure or gain amount of gain gain levels whatever you want to call it and also the the switching order those are extras the King of Tone doesn't give you so it's even more versatile which is of course very nice let me know in the comments below how you like the tones of the Pantheon Deluxe did it translate through the video and through YouTube um, as well I'm not sure of course obviously well not yet I will see it together with you when I'm watching the video <laughs> yeah so I was really impressed but uh, let me know what you think meet you down there in the comments and see you next week in a new video I'll be back bye bye